your Hall of Fame radar, John. What's your best guess now that we're midway through the season coming up? Obviously, uh, we're going to be having a new class coming in. We, Gil Brandt is is in this mix for the first time. It's pretty exciting on that front. How do you how do you see that coming down? I'm so happy for Gil and Pat Bolin, of course. Uh, Gil, I've known forever like you have. I grew up in Waco, Texas, diehard Cowboy fan. I started hearing about him in 1960 with Tex Ram and Tom Landry and Knowing how much Gill's meant to the game, he's in. Pat Bolin's in. So I, having two contributors this year, I think, is just tremendous. So what do you think uh, when it all comes down to it with players who, who might get in this? I think we year? got locks like Champ Bailey, Tony Gonzalez, and there's one more, and I can't remember who it is. I see three locks on there and the rest. I think Ed know, Reed is one of them, Ed right? Ed Reed is another lock. And so that makes it tough for the guys who are holdovers, but I think I know this, Rich, it gets harder and harder every year because of all the talent that's not just coming out that's first-time eligible, but the guys that are worthy year in and year out. And unless we increase the ballot, which we're not going to do, it's, I feel so bad for those who have to wait. But as so many have learned, the never give up hope. Why not increase the ballot? Uh, you'd have to talk to the Hall of Fame bosses on that one. That's way above my pay well, grade. Would you, would you, as part of the selection committee, would the members of the selection committee l- like that? Would they... I can only speak for myself, but knowing how many guys are worthy that are not in, not just the modern era, but the seniors, I'd love to increase it. Not as many as the College Basketball Hall of Fame, where they had, like, there's so many you can't fit their names in a paragraph. So I th- I would love to see us add more. Because, I mean, when you think about it, John, um, you know, and we are broadcasting right now straight into Canton, Ohio, uh, on our uh, affiliate WHBC uh, out there. Um, look, uh, there's just th- over a handful over 300 men in the history of the National Football League on which there's 53 that play every single week for 32 teams I don't think it would dilute the the sport and or that room if you add one or two more every single year. I agree with you 100%. One thing I'd like to see, and this came up when we could, uh, created the contributor category, there was a talk about putting coaches in the contributing category because it's hard for coaches to get in when they're going against players. And so I wish they were eligible for contributors, and then we'd be able to get more coaches in there. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.